Right, so job postings, ever seen them before? They come in various forms and sizes depending on uh, which companies you're looking at. Um, so what is a job posting? Right. A job posting is an answer. It's an answer to what kind of talent the company is looking for. It also acts as a guideline on how you should be preparing your resume and what you should be including in there. So what you need to do with a job posting is read it, but read it really well, read it strategically and be able to identify the keywords that are relevant to the position. And once you've identified those keywords, you want to apply them on your resume. And if you do that really well and the company thinks you're a good fit for the job, then you'll get a high score on the ATS, the applicant tracking system, like these people or like this. And a high score on the ATS means you'll be invited in for an interview. And that only happens to a very few percentage of the people. And uh, over the years, I've helped many people land interviews at over 300 different companies. And I want to share my tips and tricks with you on that. So, and if you're wondering what an ATS is, what an applicant tracking system is, then uh, be sure to go check out my video on the ATS and the HR secrets. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about what a job posting is and why a job posting is important to you and the different sections of the job posting you should be focusing on. I'm Professor Job Offer, and I've spent the last 10 years with number four is Global 2000 Companies, and I want to share with you my tips and tricks on landing your next job offer. Let's dive right in. So what is a job posting? So job posting is a recruitment information. Recruitment is just a fancy way of saying hiring people. So uh, companies use it to hire people or to let people know that they have a position open. So you should come and apply. It's usually posted online these days on different career sites or even uh, usually right even on the company's website and on social media. An interesting thing is that depending on which website you're looking on, the closing date might differ. So just uh, note to that for uh, your information. And the job posting will contain information about the company, uh, the position that's open, and some of the requirements. And this is what we'll be examining a little later in the video. So why is a job posting important? Uh, there's a book called Art of War. And in the book, it says, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear a hundred battles. Are you going like, huh? Like, why am I talking about this? Well, let me rephrase it and say, if you know the job posting and you know yourself, you need not fear a hundred job applications. Yeah. So it's related. However, don't go applying for jobs you don't even qualify for, right? So you have a job posting that looks something like this. Uh, and once you are able to pick and highlight the keywords that are re relevant to the, the position and some of the requirements, experiences, and skills that you have, you want to be able, you want to create a resume, your resume that is tailored to the position by including those keywords on there. And uh, if you do this well, and uh, you end up in, uh, in the high, in the higher scores of the ATS, then uh, as mentioned, you'll be invited in for an interview. And if you're wondering how to identify the keywords out of like some you know five six hundred <laughs> word document, then uh, I have a video on identifying the job posting keywords for an ATS optimization. So be sure to go check that out. Uh, lastly, we have the job posting sections. So I'm going to use an example from Apple. So Apple's genius position. Let's see how this looks. You're always going to have a section called overview or the summary. This is where the company highlights, uh, you know, the basic information about the job and gives you a summary of what the position, um, how the position is uh, supporting the company's mission and vision and some of the values. So uh, as a genius at the Apple store, you maintain customer's trust in Apple as a skilled expert troubleshooting and repairing products. You you use problem solving and people skills to assure genius bar customers of swift resolutions to their technical problems. You also educate your team members about products while independently keeping your own technical know-how up to date with your customer service, brilliant and empathetic nature. You provide genius advice and support every day. So this is what you'll be doing um, as a genius at Apple. So you might've noticed there's a couple uh, keywords and um, skills that you could pick out from there. And this is one of the, I think it's one of the more important sections you need to focus on uh, the qualifications and the minimum requirements. So Apple, as a genius, if you're applying to be a genius at Apple, you need to have minimum all these three bullet points. You need to have these uh, strong people skills and knack for problem solving, ability to maintain composure and customer focus while troubleshooting and solving technical issues, and the ability to adhere to a schedule of customer appointments. This is the bare minimum. If you don't have this, you don't qualify. That's right. So you need to make sure you have these skills highlighted on your resume. And there's another section, section called the preferred qualifications and additional requirements. This is where you get your brownie points, your extra points for having specific skills or experience. So there's four bullet points for 
Apple's uh, genius position. It says you have an aptitude for acquiring skills and technical repairs and an eagerness to learn. Okay, You have excellent time management skills and can make decisions quickly. A multilingual ability is also a plus. So if you speak more than, more than one language, then you might want to highlight that. And you'll need to be flexible with your schedule where your work uh, because your work hours will be based on your business needs. So if you have any if you if any of these are applicable to you, you want to highlight that on your resume. Uh, last section that we'll be taking a look at from the job posting is the responsibilities and description section. Uh, this is another important section because this is what you'll be doing on a daily ba uh, daily basis when you're working as a genius at Apple. And if you're able to pick out some of the skills and experiences or knowledge that are in this uh, section, then you definitely want to apply that on your job posting as well. So as a genius, you provide insightful advice and friendly hands-on technical support to Apple customers in need. You quickly diagnose product issues on the spot, explaining a situation with patience and empathy after determining whether products can be, uh, whether repairs can be done or replacement is needed. You offer solutions to quickly get users up and running again, even if you're juggling more than one customer. You stay conscious of their time de uh, of their time demands as well as your own. You fulfill Apple's service commitment with style, speed, and skill, and you earn the trust of customers and coworkers alike as you offer guidance, knowledge, and even tips and training. So this is what you'll be doing every single day on the job as a genius at Apple. And um, you know, there the job posting link is in the description. Um, I didn't link it to the company's website. I linked it to my Google Drive just in case they take it down because job postings come up and get down all the time. And uh, let's take a look at another example real quick. This is uh, Google's product analyst intern position. So this one I won't read every single section, but uh, you can always pause the video and replay it once you've uh, finished re reading it. So this is the overview summary section of. Uh, you know, giving giving you an overview, literally, of uh, what the job is about. The next section, this section is about the minimum qualifications or requirements of the job. And as you can see, the three bullet points, it, it, it's not, you know, very complicated. You just need to be pursuing a bachelor's or master's degree in a related field like statistics, computer science, engineering, mathematics, or data science, or similar. And they are asking you to have a bare minimum of experience working with statistical data packages like R or MATLAB, and etc., and the experience articulating product questions and pulling data from you know data uh, data sets like SQL and so on, and of course just like uh, with the uh, genius position, uh, Google also highlights some preferred qualifications um, where you'll get extra points if you have any of these qualifications like interest and aptitude in data or ability to translate analysis or um, distinctive problem solving skills or you know if you're currently attending a degree program in the U.S. with plans to return to a degree program after the completion of internship. And, uh, you know, if you're available to work for a minimum of 12 weeks, uh, then, you know, you get extra points for that. And lastly, you'll have your daily responsibilities uh, or the description of the job. So this is what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day ba day -day basis. So this is the section you really want to focus on and try to pick and highlight and um, some of the skills, knowledge, and experience they require or that you'll be uh, expected of and apply them on your resume. And same thing with this, the link is in the description where you'll be able to access uh, my, my Google Drive to take a look at how uh, the job posting, the details of the job posting. Also, if you're wondering how to apply these keywords once you've identified them, because uh, applying, identifying it and applying it is a complete different thing. So once you, uh, if you're able to apply your keywords on your resume like this, such as like coordinate or collaborate or scheduled, initiated some of these uh, resume action verbs, then I have a video where I show you a step-by-step -step process on how to use your resume action verbs on your resume uh, on your resume or CV, um, starting with you know what tasks you should be focusing on and how you should be representing your numbers and outcomes from that uh, that specific task to uh, create a bullet point, create bullet points like this. So uh, yeah, let's quickly review. So what is a job posting? Job posting, remember, it's a recruitment. It's companies used to hire people. It's available online. You can, you can actually get the same job posting from many different sites. And it contains information about the company, the position, and some of the requirements. And remember, this is important because if you're able to strategically analyze the job posting and pick out some of the keywords and um, the skills that the company is looking for, you can tailor this on your resume to uh, have a high scoring resume on the ATS and get invited in for an interview. So this is the first hurdle of your um, of your job hunting. And the uh, different job posting sections, uh, we looked at, you know, uh, Apple's genius position as well as Google's uh, intern, intern position. Uh, it contains the summary, which gives you an overview and the minimum qualifications that you need to have for the job and um, some preferred quals or other requirements for bonus points when you're applying. And uh, this is where 
the description of responsibilities to highlight your daily duties on what you'll be doing and expected to do on the job. Uh, one more thing, there's a lot of additional resources available for you for free on YouTube, uh, such as um, the resume sections where I explain different resume sections with samples. Also, if your GPA sucks, um, I have a video on three tricks to make your GPA look better without lying or cheating. So um, yeah, if you need help boosting up your GPA without going back to school, then you definitely want to check this one out. And um, this one's coming up in the next uh, couple weeks. It's cheating the ATS system. It's cheating the applicant tracking system. Actually, this is what not to do because it's been done and people have been caught and uh, you won't get through with it. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're interested, go check those out. I'm Professor Job Offer and I'm here to help you land your next job offer. Thanks for watching.